Hi guys, so in this session we are going to look at a very very important module in CSS called the CSS Flexbox. Now, um, as a front-end developer, if you are building your uh, front-end interface, um, the first thing you are going to take into consideration is the layout of your application, how the layout of your application is going to be. Now, in the previous session, we've seen how we can implement um, CSS on our uh, HTML elements using different uh, methods, using the inline internal style sheet and the external style sheet. So right from here, you can see that um, there are various ways in CSS encoding generally to achieve the same results, but there's always a best practice. Now, back to CSS Flexbox, um, to like, to, to, to design your layouts, you know, to design your layout, which is the first thing you are going to consider in any design, in any application you're going to build, you are going to have to design a layout. Uh, let me just go to some of the uh, popular websites so you can understand what I mean by uh, layouts. Uh, let's go to, let's go to Amazon. Let's go to Amazon.com. So you can understand what I mean. So, in Amazon, you can see that there are different elements in this uh, in this in this page. We have the header, which is this, and these header items they are in you know, different rows, you know. And there's another uh, nav below, you know. So all these are uh, layout. How you choose to lay uh, to design your layouts. Now below the below the header below the nav bar. We now have this card components. Now these card components are in are in you know grids, you know. Um, so these are things that you can achieve using CSS Flexbox. So Flexbox, as you can see, the layout is like the fundamental aspect of designing any website. You have to, uh, you know, consider how you will arrange the layout. You know, so this is just uh, this is just uh, Amazon. Uh, let's go to let's go to Facebook. You see that. It's applied everywhere. You would see it everywhere. So Flexbox uh, is very important. Now, Flex, uh, this is also another place you can apply Flexbox because you have to, um, you know, design your layout in such a way that you have the Facebook in one side on the left, and then you have the form on the right. Okay. Now there are all the all the web applications, all the major websites you can think of. You know, you you, you can use. CSS Flexbox to uh, you know design your layout. Now layouts are the fundamental, uh, like like the base, like one of the major things you have to consider before even designing any code, before you know writing any style and all that. You have to consider your layout. Now let's look at um, another layout. Let's look at um, YouTube, just so you can see. So right now you can see that th th there is a layout here, and there is another layout at the top, and there is another layout. So all this is what you can use Flexbox to do. And you can see in the short section, it's also another layout, you know, and they're all in grids. Now, if uh, if I should play any video, you would see that the layout change. Okay. Now, all this you can achieve using Flexbox. You see that there is another layout here. This is another layout. This is another um, uh, view entirely, and this is another view. So you can see that Flexbox is very, very powerful and it's 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 worth considering. You know? Energetic form. It's super and important to you know uh, to understand this concept. Now, apart from Flexbox, there's another tool you can use to uh, get your layout, which is uh, CSS Grid. But to build a very responsive uh, web application, like I have always been advocating, uh, Flexbox is the right tool to use. So. Um, I hope you get to understand the concept. I'm just going to open some images for you again so you can like understand what I mean by the Flexbox. Now, this is another image uh, that just represents what um, I've been talking about. As you can see, all this, uh, all this uh, element, all this layout, we've seen it in Amazon, we've seen it in YouTube, not even if not exactly the way it is, uh, but some of this element, we've seen grids, we've seen columns, we've seen uh, rows and all that stuff. So this is this is Flexbox. You, your application can have a a navbar or a header, which we've seen in Amazon. It can have a sidebar, which we've seen in uh, which we've seen in uh, YouTube. And it can have um, two different panels by the side, two different uh, div by the side, which we've seen in Facebook. So right in this image, you can see that you know this 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 is applied in in like three different websites. 
it's applied in Facebook, it's applied in Amazon, it's applied in uh, uh, YouTube. So you can you can design your entire layout with uh, CSS Flexbox, and Flexbox is very responsive. You know, um, if you've not if you don't understand what responsiveness means, you can check out my previous videos where we've talked about uh, responsiveness, the importance of responsiveness. So we're going to jump straight in and you know design some layouts, you know, just so you can have an idea of what CSS uh, Flexbox can do. Now this right here is another image for uh, Flexbox. Uh, just elaborating. You, you, as you can see, this is just Flexbox. Basically, it's telling you that you can use Flexbox to arrange your content, arrange your elements, you know, do it the way you want. Now, this can be an e-commerce site. This can be a, a news site. This can be a blog site. This can be a, a fashion design site, you know. So, you can use Flexbox to do whatever you want to do. So, um as you can see flexbox is very very important so we are going to talk about some important concepts and we're going to write some codes on css flexbox so you can see how it's applied so to get started we're just going to go into our existing code base uh you know uh, that we've written we'll clean it up take it off because uh, i think um, hopefully by now you get the concept of css which uh, i have explained in earlier videos and by the way if you've not uh seen those videos please uh, go back and uh, watch these videos they're very important to make you catch up fast on what we are talking about so I'm um, just gonna clean these elements real quick and then come and uh, to the CSS class and delete them because they're no longer is for not using them anyway okay so we're just gonna save and then we are gonna save as well so we are good so basically um, we are gonna create containers okay um, let me just refer you back to the image again. We can think of this as containers, okay? Now this can be, this entire image is a container where all those elements are sitting, okay? And then within these containers, we have two more containers. Now one container is an invincible container here. And just think of it as a container, kind of imagine it as a container, okay? And these are the elements inside this container, okay? These are the elements inside these containers, okay? So we're going to create a container and we're going to create the container item. So with CSS Flexbox, the ideology is, um, the kind of uh, philosophy is a parent and child philosophy, okay? Now this container is the parent container. And then the elements inside the containers, the, inside the container, they are the children, okay? So it's a parent and child relationship, okay? So let's just, let me just demonstrate this real quick with the code base so we can understand. So I'm um, just going to create a div uh, real quick. Okay, so I create a div and let's 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 create a class for this div. Create a class called container. Okay, so let's just call it container. Okay, now um on this container, let's give it a background color of uh, let's give it a background color of purple. Okay, let's give it purple. Okay, then let's give it a height. Um, let's give it a width. That's the width of the container. Let's give it 100% width. Uh, we've seen percentage, how percentage is working in previous videos, okay? Let's give it a width of 100% and then let's give it a height of, uh, let's see, 100, uh, um, 100 uh, viewport height, okay? Now, this this v, um, VH is a, is, a, is a unit that we've not talked about, but uh, you would get to see how it works. So basically, you are saying the view, the like should take hundred percent of the entire view of the of this particular web page. Okay. Now, basically, to go over it again, we are saying the background color should be purple. The width of the uh, container should be hundred percent, and then the height should be hundred view h uh, viewport height. Okay. So let's link this uh let's link it to this div so you can see it to take the distance so let's let's call it class uh class yeah let's see container okay so let's let's just uh, let's save this i can save this let's just save this save this again that's the html element refresh our this yeah so you can see we have a we have a background, right? Then let's, if this is the parent, let's say, let's assume this is the parent uh, component, okay? Let's say this is the children. Let's let's create other divs inside this parent, okay? This parent container. So let's create more div. Let's say div. 
Okay, so let's do more div. Let's just write one so we can track the div. Do more div. Let's say div. Let's say two. One more div. Three. One more div. Four. Okay. So if I save this and refresh, you'll see that uh, we have one, two, three, four. I don't know if you can see it, but we have it. But then this is not what we want. We they are lined up one after the other. You know? So let's let's give this um child divs a, a, a let's let's give them a class so that you can identify them. Okay. So let's call let's let's call um let's call let's see let's say child. Let's call the class child uh, child. Okay, or maybe children. Okay, children component. Let's give it a background color. Let's give them a background color. Uh, background color. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see blue. Um, the width should be. The width should be. Let's give them the width in, in pixels. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see fifty pixels. Uh, pixels and then the height would be let's see fifty pixels. Uh, right. And so the height will be 50 pixels, uh, 50 pixels. I hope 50 pixels is not too small. So let's just, um, let's, let's save, save this and um, let's import, let's, let's give the children the class. Okay, so let's just say class children. Okay, so I'm just gonna copy this so I don't, uh, Take too much time. Remember the class the classes is gonna be applied in the opening tags. Okay, class of children. Okay, apply here. And apply here. So hopefully this will change it. Yeah, you can see our blue boxes are coming up, but they are displaying as one because I didn't I didn't separate them. Let me give them the margin. Let's see margin top. Let's give them a margin. Remember margin top. Let's give them uh let's give margin top. Let's say 30 pixels. Okay, so we want to divide these boxes uh 30 pixels one after the other. So you see there's a demarcation. You can see these boxes are separated. Okay. Now these boxes might be too small. Let's increase the let's increase the size. Let's make it uh, 100 pixels so it will be very vis visible to you. Um, I hope the colors are not uh, eye aching. You know, we can use softer colors but just to get the point. Uh, so if you increase it, yes. So you can see that our boxes are, you know, stacked one after the other. So these are the children. This, this. Um, let me give it a. Let me give it a. Let me give it a padding so that there will be a space between the container and the children, so you can see. Okay. So save this and. Uh, Yeah, so you can see the container is taking a part and I'm just trying to separate it so you can see that it's different. Now, this doesn't look much like a layout, but then what you, where Flex, Flexbox come into play is that we can take this into, uh, you know, display them as Flex. So let's, um, let's, come to, let's come to the parent container. So what we're saying is that we want all the children inside this container to, to display as Flex, okay? So this, so we want to start writing Flexbox. So all we'll be writing is just to create this layout and so you can see the boxes just now imagine these boxes as a layout okay let's say let's say um let's give it a width of uh, 100 p uh, let's let's make this a percent this width let's make it 100 percent so you can see that this can actually become layout okay so if we save this you see this are you know this have expanded into um uh, you know useful layouts then you would see how we can do this so let's go back to Let's go back to our pixels so we can demonstrate this real quick. Uh, now, okay, so we're back to our pixels. Now, what we want is that we, we want to tell this um, parent container using Flexbox to, you know, display this in rows or columns, okay? 
Now these are the first thing you can do with Flexbox to display items in rows or columns. Okay, to do that, you come to the parent container, type display, okay, display flex. Okay, you choose flex, okay. So you are telling it to display flex now. This is also we've started using flexbox now. Okay. So display flex, you save. Once you save now, I refresh, you'll see that uh, it will take the flex uh, this thing. Okay, can you see that it's now taking flex? Okay, the reason why it's like this, let's give it a uh, margin left so you can see that they are separating. Uh, margin left. I see margin left, let's give it 30 pixels as well. Okay, 30 pixels, save it 30 pixels. And then we refresh, let's refresh and see our, here our children component in action. So we refresh. So you can see that they are now like we are now creating a layout okay now we this is flexbox now another thing we can do is so let me just roll this display flex now so you can see that it's actually this display flex that's making them act like this so let me just comment it out and save okay if i comment it out and save if, if i refresh you see that it's back to its original um orientation which is uh vertical you know so this flex box we are telling it to kind of like take the uh, you know horizontal axis so this is it so you can see that these are you know coming on a straight line from from left to right okay now another thing we can do is that we can specify the direction we can tell it to take any direction we want to with the keyword flex direction okay so this is its flex direction so flex direction, we can tell it's currently is in, is in, is in uh, uh, row, but we can tell it to take column. Okay. So if I if I if I save this now, flex direction as column. Okay. If I refresh, it will go back to the column that it was. Okay. So another property of the um, flex box is the justify content property. Okay. So let's say justify content. Let's say let's say end now, just so you can see. Now remember we are in the column axis, so the column axis is up and down, and then the row axis is left to right. So if we say end now, the justify content end, that means to come to the end. If up is the beginning and down is the end, okay. So let's just if, if we save this and you know just uh, refresh, you see that everything is down. Now um, let me bring it back uh, so you can see. Let me, let's do it with row, so it's it's very visible with row. Okay, so if we refresh. Let's say our flex direction is row, okay, which will change the direction of our um, children, okay. So now let's say justify, uh, justify content. Let's say end, okay. Let's say end. You see that it will, it will go to the extreme end of the screen. Can you see? Can you see that we are now like we are using flexbox to just move things around. We can just align stuff. So we can also justify content, let's say in the center, we can bring it to the center, bring it to come to refresh. You see that our items are in the center of the screen now, okay? Okay, so there is a lot that we can do and we can also say maybe justify content uh, space around, okay? Let's say we want to do space around uh, this, we'll do space around, you see that there will be spaces in between the boxes, be spaces in between boxes. So if I Refresh, you can see space around. Okay, now all these um, items are like you know, all these all these all these uh, flexbox uh, flexbox properties are very very useful. Okay, now let's do let's do one where um, let's do a YouTube uh, let's do a YouTube layout with this flexbox so you can see uh, how useful it can be. Now let's just let's let's change this color to let's say yellow uh, yellow green. Let's say look green so it will be softer in the eyes. Uh, let's save it and then refresh. Okay, I think this is better. Okay, yellow green. Now let's say um let's say one the width of this uh, let, let's delete two two of this uh items. Okay, let's delete these two items so you can see. I'm trying to show I want to show you something. If we delete all let's just comment it out and delete it. So let, let's just comment it out and save, okay. Now, can you see um, this? We, we, we automatically have a grid. Let me just bring this. Let me just open it. Okay. 
okay so automatically have a grid uh, a view and if you notice uh, let's go to facebook again just so you can see that um, you can use it to create a layout so you can see facebook uh, layout is kind of like this one on the left and one on the right and as you can see we have a component don't worry about the size you can al always increase the size so you can see we can write the facebook element here and we have the form here so if we remove this uh let's say space around the uh, item uh, let's bring it back a bit let's say the space around justify content let's say space around is commented out so they'll be closer to each other and then let's just see uh let's, let's see let, let's just make it center so that they'll, they'll be just right at the center okay justify content center save fresh so now they are at the center does it look like yeah so this so this is basically what it is so if we give it let's see um so from here we can design different layouts okay we can design different layouts so let's let me let me let me let me show you YouTube's uh, layout so you can you can see how we can apply uh, this layout on YouTube so let's give this a let's say dots video let's give it a video class uh, let's say let's say the width of this uh, the width will be let's say let's say let's say 70 percent okay let's give it a width of 70 percent okay let's say this is the video that's the, that's YouTube uh, layout I showed you. Okay. Now we we'll come to this uh, and apply. So now, if you want to apply multiple classes to a div, you can just use space to differentiate the class. Okay. So apart from children, we we'll give it a video class. Okay. So I want to show you something. So it will take seventy percent of the whole width of the, the container. No. So let me just uh, save and I'll show you. So this is if I refresh can you see that it's taking 70% of this width okay now if let, let's just say this is it okay let's say let's say this is let's say this is the video now let's let's give it a let's give it a height of uh, let's give it a height of uh, maybe let's give it a height of let's say let's say 200 pixels okay just trying to demonstrate YouTube layouts for you to basically show you that you can do whatever you want with this flex. So let me make it 500. Let's make it 500 pixels. Okay, so can you see that this is now beginning to look like a YouTube layout where you, you have the video here and then you have the uh, related videos here and then you have the comment section below. Okay, so there is a lot of things you can do with CSS Flexbox. Okay, so with this now, you can see that we have created, uh, you know, Facebook layout. This is YouTube layout. So it's, it's a very rough sketch, but you get the idea. Okay, so we can we can, we can do a lot. We basically you can design your layout with with Flexbox. Okay, that's basically uh, about it in Flexbox. Uh, so let me see if I uncomment these guys. Let me show you something. If I just uncomment them and then refresh, you see that these are now coming. You know. These other flex items are also coming so you as you can see you can design your layout in whatever way you want so let's say we want the uh let's say we want the middle uh, uh or the last one to take the video component want to display the video at the head so we can just put the class there you can see our video is here but if one put if you want to put it in the middle we can put it in the let's say let's say if we have three let's say we have three uh three boxes and I want to put it in the middle box okay so we can have our video here so we have content here we have content here then we have our video at, at the middle so there, there are so many ways you can play around with flexbox it's very very exciting it's very interesting okay now within the flexbox children because if you notice if you remember what i said this is the parent and this is the child now flexbox is so flexible that within the Fle flexbox children it can also serve as a parent okay so that means you can also have great items inside this middle box so let me just um let me just show you real quick uh let's see video now i want to make the remember this item this class is is the video class so let's make the item display flex as well okay so what we are saying is i want want this item inside this this particular video class to be 
uh, flex okay now flex direction let's make it uh, let's make it row and see flex direction let's make it uh, row so I want to show you something um, let's see let's call let's call the class video children let's see video items now let's say children okay so video children so let's give them these properties, but we're going to make the boxes small. Let's just copy these properties and give them. Well, let's make uh, let's make the width. Let's see fit fifty pixels. Let's see fifty. Let's see the height is fifty pixels. Uh, fifty pixels. Margin left. Let's make it. Uh, let's make it twenty. Uh, margin top. Sorry, margin left twenty. Okay. So let's give it. Uh, let's give it another color. Let's give it. Uh, let's give it. Um, Let's give it let's give it red. Let's give it red now. Okay. So now every div I create inside this video, and if I apply this video children class, it will also be a flex. Okay, let's try it and see. Okay, so let's just save it. Now nothing will happen because we haven't created the div. So if you go inside this and create more div, let me just show you just create div. Okay. Let me just copy these divs and make it like up to four. Okay, now each of these div, let me give you a class of uh, let's see video children. Okay, let me just copy this class name. I just want to show you something that you can use the flexbox to, like it's very dynamic. You can a a child can also serve as a parent to other flexes at the same time. Okay. Let me just save it and refresh so you can see. So you can see inside this grid now we have other flexes. Okay, now this it's very very flexible. Now you can remember this is a child to this purple background. Now at the same time it's also serving as a parent to this red flexes. Okay, and you can still do the same thing like the same flex. Uh, this let's do flex direction so you can see what I'm talking about. Okay, so justify content and you see it's at the end. Okay, so so it's very very flexible. Okay, let's say let's say center. Okay, so you can see. Okay, so this so you can do so many things with this flexes now. Okay, so let's say we want to give this guy. Let's say we now want to create more like we want to make it a nested layout. Let's say we want to give one of these boxes a another size. Okay, let's let's name it. Inner box, uh, inner box. Let's give it width of uh, uh, width of. Let's say it should take fifty percent. Okay. Now what we are saying is that want this any way we apply this inner box class to take a width of fifty percent inside this parent. So this fifty percent now that we are calculating is not the whole screen is inside this parent screen. So that's where the parent and child's uh, um, philosophy comes in. Okay. So let me just save this. And let's see this video children. Okay, let me give the first one so you can see. Uh, video, no video children. Okay, let me give the first one. If I save now, this will take a width of fifty percent. Can you see? So flexbox is very, very, it's very, very useful. Like you, it's 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 super important. Okay. Now the next um session we are going to do, we are basically going to design this layout. Okay, we are going to clone this page. Uh, with knowledge we have. Of CSS and Flexbox, you can easily see how we can uh, combine those skills, you know, and build a very, very good uh, uh, interface. Okay, okay. Now you can see this is all Flexbox in action. Okay, now this is not. We can put a lot of content here. This, you remember I said this? These are containers. Okay, so the containers are not just to take one, two, three. You no, know? they are. They can take pictures. They can take paragraph of letters. They can take video elements. They can take anything. Okay, so this is just how it is. Now, if, I, if you want to further modify this now, you can make this a children and now create another uh, flex item. So you can see flexbox is very, very useful. Okay. So um, I think uh, you get the idea of flexbox by now. So like I said, in the next video, we are going to create a Facebook login page using flexbox and CSS. So you can see it in action.